6 situations where you are allowed to speak bad about someone behind their back. Number one, where you complain to a person of authority to bring back your right. For example, someone hits your car and runs away. And this man, you know, what's this plate number? I can't say because it's backbiting. No, you can mention it even though that's something they will not appreciate of you saying. But you're taking your right back. Number two, you want to seek someone's support to help take away someone's evil. For example, someone's taking drugs. You don't know how to deal with them. So you ask someone who's like a, a counselor, social worker that dealt with such cases. You know what? I know someone that does drugs. What do I do? There's no problem. The other one, for example, you're at work and you want to seek advice. So someone harasses you. You tell your friend, what should I do? Should I file a report to HR? How do I go around it? You're seeking advice. Number four, for example, is to warn someone of someone's evil. Typical example, I personally got a call one time. A mother says, Brother Majid, one of the brothers that attends your halaqa is proposing to my daughter. Do you know anything about him that I should be warned up about? then that's something I can mention. The number five reason, which is to talk about someone's sin that is committed in an open scene. So yes, you can talk about someone's sin that is made in the public under two conditions. Number one, it has to be for a reason and it has to be only for that sin specifically. Wonderful. Number six and last, for identification purposes. So for example, let's say someone has a friend that is way overweight, for example, and they tell you, hey bro, who are you hanging out with? Oh, that's brother Ahmed. I don't know him. The guy with us in our calculus class. No clue. Okay, you know the guy that's really, really overweight? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I Now I know him. You didn't mean to dehumanize the brother, but that was the only way to identify him.